Hello everybody, this is Ritupanna Hazra from Paraguay Technology. Today I am going to demonstrate how to use uh, import and export data uh, using Dataport in Dynamic Navigation 2009. Dataport is used to export and import data to uh, using CSV files uh, into the table and from the Navigation system to uh, out, uh, to a text file or that is a CSV file so that can, it can be used in different computing systems. So uh, to demonstrate the use of data port, first I'll create a table of service. It will have the fields as number, which data type is integer. The second would be description, that is which service is there, which has text. The size is 30, I keep it the default. And then there is units the units in which it will be measured that I take as integer then there is rate rate I want it as decimal as which rate it would be paid with and then there is start date then there is end date. And the last field is active which will depict is the service active right now or not. I will take the data type as boolean. For units I want to provide options options would be options is basically a drop down from uh, so that you can select from many so i have a, a field property that is option string i'll provide options like um, day service or could it be hour service or another it might be miles service uh, so that is the option strings I'll copy it into the caption so I press escape to go back to my table structure I want to save this table I provide an ID which is available in my table space and provide a name for this table that is service now my table is created to now when I run this table I see that the table is empty to import huge amount of data I can use data port rather than inserting one by one into this table so to create a new data port I'll click on data port and create click on new I'll provide the table name for which this data port is being created I can scroll down from all these tables and select my table or I could just provide my table ID. I click on view and data port fields. Over here I will be mapping the data uh, fields of the table that is service table and the comma separated uh, items that I will be providing in the text file. The first, my first uh, field is number, then there is description then there is units I can either click on the assist button and select it or I can click on F6 to see the list and then there is active I have selected all the fields it's not necessary to select all fields but as I'm gonna import data into the all the fields that is why I've selected all I save this mapping and save my data port at the same time and provide a data port ID so now my data port for the service table is created I have already pro uh, created two files that is service data variable format and 
service data fixed format. My data port can ha uh, have import uh, data from files in two formats. That is, I click on the last line and provide uh, sh press Shift F4 or click on properties button to see the property of the data port. So here we can see the file format. There are two formats that is fixed format or variable format. The first variable format is where the fields are separated by comma or any character that we provide. I can also provide any special characters like a pipe or a ampersand. So I'll keep it for def uh, default right now. And the record separator is a new line over here. So uh, when a new line is coming, it will treat the, and that as a new record. I can also change it over here as pipe so that it continues with a new record. But I'll keep the default right now. You can test it out using all the other special symbols. So this is my data port property that is set. I'm going to run my data port. This is the where we can provide filters to the data I am going to import. That is, I can provide uh, units where only the data for hours. For example, in my field, in my text, I have uh, fields like day service, then there is another day service and there is an hour service. I can filter that only the hour service can be should be imported into my table but right now I do not want to do that so I'll keep this field as blank I'll go to options and I want to import right now so I'll click on import I'll browse to the file I have it on my desktop that is variable service data variable format I click on this and I click on ok so it is importing the data right now we'll go back to the table and run our service table we can see that the data that was there in a file is imported. We see car wash, gardening and dog walking service. All the three services are imported. And it also shows active. All the data uh, we can see in our table. Then we will go back to our data port to see how the fixed format data is found. So I, here's my data port. I go to the design of the data port and click on the last line to see the properties of the data port. Over here I change the file format to fixed. Now what is required is my field should have a start and an end index. So I will go to view and go to data port fields. So the start position and the width was, uh, is important now. Without this, it will throw an error that a fixed format file cannot be imported using without a start po uh, position and a width. So I'll provide the uh, my number starts at the first index, and the width would be two. Similarly, the descriptions uh, will start from third, and the width. Uh, as my text size is 30, I can provide the width as 30. The units would start on the index 34 and then it, the width would be 6. So from here on I will put the index where it should start and the width what the field will be expecting. So as I've already provided the start position and the width, I'll not have to provide any kind of delimiter that is comma or ampersand to get the data. So I save the uh, data port details and then I press escape. I already have a fixed format file where you can see I've used the first two width for number and then the next 30 width for description of the service and the next 6 width for the unit service then there is 5 width for the rate 
and then the le next 11 bit for the date and it goes on till I reach the active field and I do not you do not, uh, see that I have not used any delimiter as the fields data will be imported uh, using the indexes that I have provided and the width that I have provided. So I will go back to my data port, I will run my data port. Now also I can pro uh, input filters but I will not do that. I will show, uh, show you the use of filters while exporting data. In my fixed format you see that I have one no and two yes services as in the uh, domestic service is not active and the housing and the driving services are active. So let's import data. I will click on data, browse the file. I go to uh, service data, fixed format and open and ok. Now let's get back to the table and run the table and I see the next data is imported. Now I'll show you how to export data from our service table that in Navision to an CSV file that is comma separated file. So I go back to the data port. I can use the data port that I've already created as it provides me import and export service. I'll run my data port and here I can filter only, I will filter only the services which are active. So I provide a filter active and say yes. I go to the options, I go to the browse, I create a new text file that is service data export. So let's see what can be found in it. So I click OK and as there is no error, I can assume um, that it is successfully done. I will go to my desktop where I have saved the export file and click see. Here there is service data export. I will go to my service data, uh, service data port and change the property to variable format where the delimiter will be comma separated and the new line character. I save my data port and run it. I provide filter as active and yes and I export the data to my data service export. So let's see if there is any data in my table. As you can see that uh, the data is there in my CSV file which has a delimiter of comma and every line has a new record. So this is how we would export data from the Navision table to a CSV file. This uh, file can be used with all the systems which do not uh, which cannot be collaborated with Navision and we can change these data and import it back to our Navision table. So this is how you use data port. Thank you for watching this video.